on you and let you uh, get things started. But we have Louisville guard Charles Mimlin with us uh, for you this afternoon to get things going. Michael, you go ahead and kick us off. All right. Hey, Charles, Michael McCammon from Cardinal Authority. Uh, just kind of a quick overview, overview from you. Uh, practice has been going on for a while. Um, from your assessment, how have things uh, been looking thus far as you guys get ready for the season? Um, I think I think things are looking good. I mean, um, obviously, it's been a very crazy, weird year with COVID going on, not really knowing when the season's starting. Some people not even sure if we're even going to have a season. We're a little worried about that. But um, with everybody, you know, Everyone's in really good spirits, really high spirits. Um, we've just been kind of figuring each other out, still competing extremely hard. You know, people are trying to define and ca carve out roles and niches and stuff like that. And it's been it's been really fun competing every single day. So I think we're looking good. We're excited for the season to start. Go to Matt and then to Shannon. Hey, Charles, this is Matt McGavick with Sports Illustrated. Now that a preseason practice is in full swing and the the uh, non-conference schedule starting to get pieced together. How does it feel knowing that the season is just around the corner after having such a long off season with the upcoming season and now because of COVID? Um, it's it's kind of strange putting it in, into perspective. Uh, we've started doing these, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen the, the media videos about counting down the days before the season starts. It's kind of helped to put it in perspective just because it's been so long since there's been college basketball. Um, but it's exciting. It, it gets uh, a lot of guys amped up. You know, guys have been pretty focused, pretty locked in, but even wanted to get even that much more locked in for when the season starts so that we can make a statement. I know there's uh, people have different opinions about how we're going to be this year, and uh, we just want to prove everybody wrong and uh, be the best team we can be. So that's that's pretty much been the focus for us as a team. Hey, Charles. Shannon Russell from the Courier Journal. Uh, when you were at San Francisco, what kind of defense did you guys play? Um, it was very different than what it is over here. Um, just in terms of the principles, some of them were like completely opposite. So it's been an adjustment for me, being honest, just personally, just having to adjust because I was there for as long as I was and then playing one way and having to like kind of reverse engineer how I'm how I'm guarding and things like that. But um, I think here it's, it's a lot more one on one driven in terms of like just keeping your guy in front, trying to make sure that you're you're having a huge impact on the person with the ball. And uh, also you just, you know, kind of showing the help when you're playing off ball, but still definitely making sure that everybody's able to guard their man has been a huge emphasis. But it's been a little bit of an, an adjustment, but I'm, I think I'm picking it up. Still have some more to learn, but I'm, uh, I'm excited with the potential that I have as an individual defender. So it's exciting. As a follow up real quick to that, was there was it man to man you played at San Fran or do you mix in zone? What, what I mean, what what it was it predominantly? Um, it was man, but it was just the, the ways that we guarded it were different, were different. Um, in terms of like where we wanted to force the offense, where our help was coming from, how we would guard ball screens, um, pretty much everything has been like very different. So just um, getting getting used to that that change, that transition has been uh, unique. It's been a challenge, but I, I like those kind of challenges. So it's been it's been fun for me. But um, just kind of figuring it out as I as I go has been pretty pretty interesting to say the least. Back to Michael. Charles, you, you mentioned kind of everybody trying to find their roles. Um, how's how's that coming along for you? How are you, how is your role progressing, and and what do you see your role as is on this team? Um, good question. Um, it's it's not nothing is really uh, very straightforward yet. Um, as the season progresses and practice progresses, you know, uh, there have been transitions in terms of how players are playing from week to week, practice to practice. It's all been uh, really different, but um. Definitely some guys have stepped up. You know, there have been some some people who stand out a little bit more than others. And um, it's just one of those things I, th I think we're going to just see as the games progress and as we get to the point where we're in season. And it's kind of you're going to get thrown into the fire a little bit because we don't have any scrimmages. So it's going to be hard to tell exactly uh, how things are going to be before we actually start playing games. So, Shannon, and then over to Matt have another defensive question. So in that transition from um, from San Francisco to Louisville, what has been the biggest challenge for you personally and specifically about um, upping your defensive game and adapting to this new system? Right, um, I think uh, just my footwork defensively, uh, like the way that I would close out is completely opposite to how I did it before. And so like 
one, just read training my brain to like close out when someone gets the ball in a different way and then also still guarding in a different way while that's going on has been it's been an adjustment i'm not gonna lie it's been challenging uh, i think i'm figuring it out uh it's happening a little slower than i would have wanted it to but I, I think i'll be fine when season starts i'm not i'm not too worried about it i'm working extremely hard so you can ask anybody on the team i don't think they're going to say anything different hi charles this is matt mcgavick again uh you mentioned earlier how everyone has their own opinion on how you guys are going to do this upcoming season Based on what you've seen so far since you arrived on campus, what do you think this team's strength is and what do you think uh, is something that this team needs to work on? Um, definitely, I think one thing that we need to work on is just kind of learning, feeling each other out, learning how to play with each other. Um, we have a lot of unique players and uh, figuring out how like those attributes work, work well together has been something that we're still trying to figure out and just the whole chemistry thing. We have a lot of young guys who haven't really played that much. Um, new guys coming in like me and Carlique. Um, yeah, so it's been, I think, the whole chemistry aspect and um, just making sure that we understand how each other's strengths and weaknesses and how to play with those things and make sure we get the best of every every person. It's We haven't necessarily been focusing too much on that. It's been more just extremely competitive in practice. And I think it's better to have that first and then figure out the whole chemistry thing later, as long as you have a lot of dogs that are willing to compete and trying to do whatever it takes to win. I think that's the most important thing to have in the first place. It's easier to learn the other stuff as you start playing. Michael. Hey, Charles. Um, a lot's been said about Carleek and his uh, impact uh, since arriving on campus. I mean, he's, he's gotten the gold jersey three straight weeks. Right. Um, what have you seen from him that's, that's making him such a leader for you guys? Um, he's an extremely talented player. Uh, extremely talented player. Uh, he has he does a lot of really good things. He's a really smart player too, and uh, he knows how to take advantage of uh, what the defense gives him, stuff like that. And he's just insanely quick. I've watched him play before. I knew who he was before the whole thing happened. I watched a lot of college basketball, but I didn't realize how quick he was until I got to practice and I, I had to guard him multiple times and and things of that nature. And uh, just seeing like the way that he's been able to uh, create shots for himself, create shots for others, the way that he manipulates the ball screens. It's been really, really cool to see up front. Uh, definitely not necessarily fun when you're going against him, but uh, it's going to be a lot of fun playing with him on the team and, uh, you know, being the recipient of some of those things and seeing him do his thing when, when we get to that, that point when we're playing those games. All right. Anything else for Charles before we finish up? Yeah, Steven, this is Russ. I got one. Go ahead. I yeah, that's right. I was Russ Brown. Um, you talked about your defensive adjustment. What about offensive adjustment? Has there been a lot of that too, or not as much, or what? Um, not necessarily. Uh, it's been I'm not playing on the ball as much, but given the personnel, it's understandable. Uh, so just um, finding ways to you know get get my get my spots, find get to my spots, get my shots, still create for other people. And, uh, you know, be, finding other ways to be effective has been uh, a good adjustment for me. But it hasn't necessarily been as challenging on the offensive end. All right. If everybody's good, we'll wrap up on that.